Kurt, Kim was behind the wheel of the car that Dr. Oliver struck. Kurt, you, you two know each other? What am I saying? She's going to be all right. Uh, it was scary at the time. Let me guess, you both belong to the same country club. Or no, your wives play bridge together. In spite of the fact that my wife was involved in the wreck... Your I've... wife is fine. It wasn't a wreck. It was a little fender better. You're trying to make this sound worse than it is. Doctor, why don't you do yourself a favor and keep your mouth shut? If I were you, I would throw him in a cell and leave him there. But that would be a great disservice to patients that might benefit from his enormous skill, which unfortunately is in direct proportion to his enormous ego. This is what I would suggest. That you release him into my recognizance. What? He can practice with me at the hospital under my guidance until his trial. Can I still choose jail? Or how about a firing squad? It's all yours, Bob. You find me at the hospital and we'll work out a schedule. You can thank me later. You know, maybe there's a concert with some band you like playing in New York while we're there. Yeah, Jack, you can stop now. Mom's gone and I know the only reason you came back to her is because I'm sick. Liberty. I know it's true, really. And I, and I know she does somewhere deep down inside of her. Okay. I love your mother. That has not changed. <laughs> yes, it has. She changed it. Okay. Without even trying. No, Liberty, that's... <sighs> Look. You said you've been thinking about your dad a lot lately. And that makes sense. Because I know you wish that he was the one here helping you through what you're about to endure, him and your mom, not me. But I am here. And I'm going to help you through this, not because it's what your father would want, because I love you. What makes you think that you helping me is going to do me any good? Hmm? It's doing me good. It's doing your mother good. And maybe in time you'll see that it's, it's going to do you some good, too. Aren't you in there? I came out here to talk to you. Okay. You said that if... If I ever needed your help, all I had to do was ask, so I'm... I'm asking. What do you need? I need you to stay out of Jack's life. Unless it's about the kids or something, I need you to, to leave him alone. Because I need him. My family's in crisis, Carly. My daughter's life is in danger. She has... She has cancer. Leukemia. I'm sorry, Jim. I'm so and I really... I need Jack to help us get through this. I know. I totally understand that. Do you? Because I am scared to death. I could lose my little girl and I don't even know how to deal with the thought of that. I don't know how to do it by myself. Hey. Hey, that's it. You don't have to. You have Jack. Liberty will be okay. Jack won't let either of you down. You're not serious. You're not going to take responsibility for this guy. Dr. Reed Oliver is a pompous blowhard, but he is not a criminal, and I can use his skills around here. And you want to teach him a lesson. Oh, it's not like you don't have enough pressure, right? I can use him on the stand. Oh, <laughs> he's your hostage. Remember how Chris and I used to go around about, uh, well, he would say that the way I practiced medicine was old-fashioned. Well, I wish I could forget how many times you two went around on that one. Mm, well, getting Oliver here is a real coup, no matter how I manage to do it. He is going to drive you so crazy. You know how you hate these hot dogs that cut out and don't have any time for their patients. I mean, you heard how he spoke to Noah. Mm, bedside matter is teachable. 
Genius is a little harder to come by. All this because a neurosurgeon just nicked my car. Listen. Gave us a chance to hang out today. I call that win-win. <laughs> just let me fill this out. And we will get you out of here in a minute. Luke, you know I'm not going to spend the rest of my life in your mom's house. Yeah, yeah well, with any luck, neither will I. <laughs> Look, I know we had to give up the apartment, but we'll get another one when we're ready. You proud of yourself, Mr. Snyder? <sighs> Dr. Oliver, I thought you went back to Dallas. Oh, did you not tell your boyfriend about your little stunt? Well, I, I didn't have time. Uh, Dr. Oliver had a little accident. Thanks to you, I am now stuck in Oak Hell for a month. Do you realize how many surgeries I'm gonna have to postpone back in Dallas? I mean, do you care that people might die? Well, I'm sure they've got you covered. And if you need a surgery fix, no one's still here for you. If you actually think that I would still even consider. Well, you know, we do have your cell phone number, so we'll call you for a consultation. Janet, I'm not in the middle of your marriage. Jackie's with you, not me. I need to know that that's true it's true for me for jack yeah it's true for him because i'm fighting for my daughter's life i know that i can't fight you too you don't you don't have to the only thing that that jack and i have in common now are, are the children you don't have anything to worry about from me. You're tough, Liberty. <laughs> Boy, you, you've had to deal with more of your age than anyone I know. It's just not the test. You're going to pass it with flying colors. Listen, even when she starts nagging you, please just try to go easy on her. Because you know where it's coming from. Her heart. The deepest part. <laughs> right? Hey. Hey. What did I miss? Wow, you're gone a while. Well, it took a little longer than I thought. Liberty, Louisa, Chacona, you still have not touched that burger. All right. I want pie. What can I say? Pie? I want some pie. I want pie, too. You're not helping. It's fruit. <laughs> it's fruit, yeah. I need something from a fruit group. You guys planned this, didn't you? You know, actually, we did not. But it's working. Sponsored by Pine Sol, the intense scent of real clean. And he's never going to leave Emily's side while she's supposedly sick. So why don't you just wake her up? Who are you? Mom? Mom. I feel safe here, Casey. Nothing can get me. 